everyone, this is Andrea with Chickettes, and today I have the 54 watt UV nail dryer from Melody Susie. This is a larger unit, it's a two handed unit, fits both hands at once, and as I mentioned it's 54 watts, and that's because it has nine 6 watt bulbs. Um, it is a little bit on the larger side, and it does take up a bit of space, and it's a little bit heavier than some of the other units that I have reviewed previously, um, but if you're in the market for a two handed unit, this is a good option. When you purchase this unit, um, you receive the lamp and also an instruction manual, which you can see here. And the instruction manual does have some step-by-step -step instructions uh, with some pictures to show you how to use the unit, so that comes in handy. So because this lamp is a little bit on the large side and I can't uh, have my camera sitting in front of me to capture the whole uh, image at once, I'm actually going to stand behind it to demonstrate for you. Um, and I first just want to show you some of the features. And if we take a look at the front, you'll see that it has this hard uh, scalloped edge on the front. And that's really just a shield to block some of the light from emitting while you're curing your nails. Um, the front of the uh, lamp has a few different buttons. There's a power button, a fan and light button, and the timer button. I'll show you how those work in a second. Um, one very important thing to note is that there are actually two power buttons. So in addition to this one on the front, there is a switch on the back. And this switch on the back must be turned on before this power button will work. And I kind of learned that the hard way. I kept thinking my lamp was broken and it wouldn't turn on, but I just had not turned on that switch in the back. So once you turn on the power switch in the back, you can go ahead and hit the power switch in the front. Um, this fan and light button, this controls, um, it turns on the fan basically. So you can turn on the fan by itself. So the fan is running now. I don't know if you can hear it, it's a, it's a little bit loud. Um, you can turn it back off. And to turn on the light, really, you hit this timer button. And there are four different timer settings. So you can set it for two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, or continual use. And to set your timer, um, you press this button. You, if you press it only once, it's gonna go on to continual use. If you press it twice, it goes for two minutes. If you press it three times, it goes for three minutes and you have to press it four times it goes for five minutes and these will light up as you press so let's see this is continual use now it shows the light is lit up on two minutes three minutes five minutes and you can keep cycling through those um, when it's on one of these timer settings two three or five it will automatically turn off after the time is up so it'll beep and turn off if you have it on continual and you want to uh, turn it off and stop it, the only way to do that is to hit your power button. So you can hit your power button at any time and turn the light off. And you can turn the fan on or off at any time as well. Turn the fan back on. And the fan really, um, it just blows a little bit of air. Um, you can feel a little bit of circulation in the lamp. It's not a real powerful fan. Um, it says in the manual that the uh, fan is actually for the, you know, to help with the longevity of the light. So I think it just helps, um, you know, keep it cool so it doesn't get um, too hot and overheat. Um, so that is a nice feature. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And I do want to show you also that it is very spacious and it does fit both hands at once. Um, I'm going to just put one hand in there, but just to show you that it is nice and spacious there. Um, and if we look at the underside of this lamp, there is actually a, this is a removable base. Um, you can take it off. It's a little bit difficult to remove actually, but if you squeeze these two little clips upward and press the base down with your, so I'm pressing with my thumbs on the inside, you can sort of pop it out of there. this other little clip right here there we go so that is a removable piece and now you can see the inside of the lamp um, that is uh, for easy cleanups so and now I can wipe off my base the inside of the lamp or I can change the bulbs and when you receive the lamp the bulbs will not be installed so you do have to install them and this is an easy way to install them um, and I'll show you that they, they click out and to install it, you want to just click it back in, and you want to press the light, the the bulbs, all the way in so that they click into place, just like that. And the light will not work until all of the bulbs are in place and uh, clicked in. So if you're having trouble turning the lamp on, just double check that your bulbs are installed properly. Um, to put this bottom base back on, 
you just slide this back into place and it clips right in. And there you have it. So um, it's a very durable lamp, nice sturdy material. Um, this lamp retails for, uh, I think right now it's on sale on Amazon.com for $59.99. No, it's $49.99. Um, and the lamp does come with a warranty. It has a six-month warranty. Um, and that is good from the date of purchase. So if anything goes wrong with your lamp in the first six months, they will replace it for you. Um, there are some stipulations um, which are can be found in the uh, guidebook here. So, of course, if, if you damage it, you know, drop it, things like that, that warranty would not cover it. But any kind of um, defect would certainly be covered. Um, so I think that's it. Um, it's a nice, handy lamp. Um, this UV lamp... Um, will cure any UV curable products, so any um, UV gel polishes, LED gel polishes, they all cure in a UV lamp. Um, builder gels and um, things like that will also cure in a UV lamp. Um, this will not dry your regular nail polishes. It may aid in drying your polish, but it certainly will not dry them completely as it would a gel polish. So um, if you're using this for regular nail polish, don't expect to um, pull your nails out of the lamp in two minutes and have them be completely dry. Um, but the fan and the light will certainly help uh, speed up that drying process a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this review.